Bill Clinton will be the featured speaker Wednesday night here in Charlotte. A man you worked for, right. you know him quite well, you admire him, even though, Alice, you never worked for him. Ryan Lizza, our CNN contributor, writer for The New Yorker, a fascinating piece in the new issue entitled Let's Be Friends, Two Presidents Find a Mutual Advantage. Among other things, he writes this. President Clinton's associates take it as a given that he would like nothing more than to see his wife become president. Hillary Clinton will step down as Secretary of State after the campaign and begin the process of deciding whether she will run in 2016. By some measures, a defeat for Obama in November would leave Hillary the undisputed leader of her party and propel her toward the Oval Office that much <laughs> Faster, James, you're smiling. Why? <laughs> I thought so, so the Reich is speculation. And by the way, we're not uh, Rubio and Chris Christie. We're going to win in 2012. Then we, we got the 2012 convention. And I don't know that, uh, for in terms of Democrats, if, if, if President Clinton, which I saw him doing a, a, a boffo spot for President Obama today, on a, as actually was on ESPN, I was watching it. And uh, I, why does that not help her if he's perceived as somebody that helped the party uh, keep the White House? I'm not sure I understand the lot. Of if he but, loses, you think it helps that, Hillary. but you're leaving open the possibility she could run in 2000. I hope so. I hope, we, I hope she does. Do. I mean, I'm, of course I do. But I don't have any idea what I she's going to do. But yes, I, but yes. But I, I suspect she right. will as well. She would like to be the first woman right. president. As, as, a very, as, right. as a very wise man, James Carville said <laughs> once, it's like sex. Nobody ever runs for president just once. Yeah. They, they, and they, he, I, he was right. But I, you know, Wolf, that's all the more reason if, uh, if people do want Hillary Clinton to run for the Clintonites to do everything they can uh, for Barack Obama this time because that really is what helps her the most. If he loses, he loses, but they can't be seen as half-hearted contributors, and they're not. Bill Clinton is on the air. Republicans shouldn't underestimate the power of Bill Clinton. He doesn't have to do it with words. He doesn't have to say, I love Barack Obama. He's great. He's terrific. He's here. Just his presence is a huge get for Barack Obama. I just want to let our viewers know, in case they don't, she can't be here as a sitting Secretary of State or a sitting no. Secretary of Defense or even a sitting Secretary of the Treasury. She can't be seen as overtly involved in a political venture. That's why she's in Indonesia right now, <laughs> e even as we speak right now. Probably uh, glad to be there. <laughs> you know, there are some Democrats, and you know this, James, that are a little bit concerned, even as he's so popular, Bill Clinton, he could go off message and could say something that could hurt this president. Do uh, you think that's possible? Uh, you know, look, I live in a world where I understand that anything is possible. I will be betting very heavily that he doesn't, if anybody, and I'll be, and I'll be giving very good odds. No, I don't think he's going to do that at all. And again, I, 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 no reason to think that. I think he's very excited about his speech. I think he's working very hard on it, and I think it's going to be very complimentary to the president. I'd be very surprised if he did a Biden. I think he's going to stick to text. Uh, but there is a difference between Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton's a new Democrat. He moved the party to the center. Barack Obama moved it to the left. Bill Clinton declared the era of big up government is over. Obama said, no, no. This is the era of even bigger government. That's what our economy needs. How are they going to resolve that? What's Bill Clinton going to say when he's asked? What's the answer? Well, he, he's already on the air with a spot in talking about how Romney wants to go back to the George Bush's policies, and Obama has his policies of investing and, and doing the kind of things to bring the whole country forward. And I think he's going to talk about that in his speech, the same thing he's talking about in this spot, and I think he's going to come out uh, uh, very strong here. The president gave a little preview in Toledo, Ohio, of what he's likely to say, one of the themes here in Charlotte. Uh, Alex, listen to this. Despite all the challenges that we face in this new century, we saw three straight days of an agenda out of the last century. It was a rerun. You might as well have watched it on black and white TV with some rabbit ears on there. Should have been on Nick at Night. Good, good line. It's a good line, and it's a good political point. Barack Obama can't run this election on the present. The economy's not in good shape. So all he's saying is don't go back. Don't go back to Bush. This is going to be the third or fourth election Democrats have run against George Bush. But Mitt Romney does have a challenge. He has to say, no, no. The person who hasn't changed Washington is you, Barack Obama. You've just made it bigger, larger, more expensive. Here's what I'm going to do that's going to turn Washington on its head. I'm going to sell every other government building. I'm going to replace most of Washington with three good websites. But I'm going to bring change, and you haven't. 